Hey Taurus, it's Teresa with One Love, One Light. Welcome to your summer solstice message. We're going to get started with a Moonology card. Holy Spirit, what do we have for Taurus? And we have your hard work is paying off. New Moon in Capricorn, which will be uh, not until Capricorn season. I was thinking full moon, but let's see what it has to say. New Moon in Capricorn. Page 60. So 60 may have some significance to you. First and foremost, this card suggests a new start for you professionally. Whatever has been going on in your working life, this card heralds the start of a new and improved work cycle. If you're unhappy in your current job, this is the time to either renegotiate your position or look for something new. Whatever your question, whether work-related or otherwise, a new plan and strategy is called for. You need to take a look at the long term and think about where you want to be in 12 months or even five years time. That will inform your best course of action now, so think seriously about it. Drawing this card suggests it's a time for you to be ambitious about whatever it is that you want to achieve. So it says make a proper plan and execute it well. You need to be more disciplined to reach your goal. Hard work will make your dreams a reality. A very good omen for study or teaching. Don't be too controlling and avoid anyone who is controlling. Capricorn is a sign of ambition, building, and hard work. The energy is solid and rigid. The new moon in Capricorn is a powerful lunation that comes towards the end of each year and marks arguably the best moment annually to make a list of your hopes, dreams, ambitions, and intentions for the year ahead. Pulling this card at any time suggests that with planning and discipline, you can achieve whatever you set your mind to. And I think that that's true of Taurus as well. You can achieve anything you set your mind to. Um, you're more likely to come up with a logical and practical plan. So let's see what else comes out for Taurus. And we have letting go. So there may be some things that are frivolous that... You need to let go of but i also feel like if this is about a job it's about letting go if it's not going to carry you on this um new journey if it's not going to help you make your dreams come true within the next one to five years if it's like you may need to look for something else and we also have love so you could be dealing with a capricorn and there could be love involved here so let's see what it means by love we're going to use the Affirmator's Tarot, which is a very fun and light deck, which is beautiful for the gateway into summer. I know in the Southern Hemisphere, um, you know, they're going into winter, but there still may be messages here for you. So let's go ahead and see what's the recent past energy for Taurus. And we have the world. So I feel like you've already completed this cycle. It's now about stepping into this new cycle. And they're talking about, you know, like trying to get something that's more on the page with, um, with what your goals are. And if you don't think that you have opportunity for advancement or for making the kind of money to, for the goals that you have set for yourself, then this is not the right job for you. All right. We have the Six of Swords. So I feel like this is moving into calmer waters. This is also about coming out of conflict and, um, yeah, moving on from like cha a chaotic environment to a calm and serene environment where you can make choices better. As the challenge, we have the Three of Swords. So there may be in love, there may be some pain or some endings happening here. But I do feel that there will be healing and, and that will be part of your goals is to heal through any past pain. And, and the only way you're gonna be able to do that is to move out of the chaotic situation that you're currently in. What is the advice from Spirit here? And we have the Ten of Cups. So this is whether in in love or in career, this is what your end goal is, is to be content and happily ever after, so forth. 
So what what's going to get you there? What list of things do you need to accomplish in order to get to this? All right, what's the outcome? And we have the Six of Pentacles, a equal give and take relationship. I don't like to see the Six of Pentacles in relationship readings, but this isn't specifically a relationship reading. So I feel like, um, you know, this is equal, equal give and take in a career, you know, um, getting paid properly. Uh, the work that you put out is worth what you get in return. Um, if this is love, this is very transactional. This is about like who's keeping score or something, you know, like, um, um, okay, um, I'll wash the dishes if you give me a kiss or something else, you know, that type of thing. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Swords. So you may feel a little trapped or like um, stuck in whatever this cycle is, but Spirit is saying that you've already completed that. So let's go ahead and clarify these cards. Uh, <clears throat> let me shuffle one time here. And that letting go just keeps moving around, so it's really trying to get our attention. All right, so show me the world. And we have judgment. Oh, wow. The judgment, judgment and the world. This is like, this is definitely like a wake up call. This is for you. You've, you've gone through the judgment and you've completed this cycle. It's time for you to move towards something that is more um, in line with your soul. And that's what I'm getting here. All right. So why is the six of swords here? Show me the six of swords. And we have the page of pentacles. So if this is a job, you will be offered some type of new opportunity. And it did say that in the book with the moonology card. So what's this three of swords here? As a challenge, the will of fortune. So I feel like it's, it's like karma. And I feel like there is some karma, unresolved karma, which is why you're in a state of not understanding what to do next or something. It's like, because really you've completed that cycle and it's time to move on, but it's what you've known. It's what you've known. So show me that 10 of cups. And we have the two of pentacles. So this is about making sure that your priorities line up with what your goals are. That's what I'm getting there. Show me that six of pentacles. And we have the knight of swords. So I feel like there's some type of drama that's going on and it's just not worth it. It's not worth it. You're, there's a lot expected of you, um, whether this is a career or relationship. Let's go ahead and clarify this Eight of Swords. Why do you feel stuck? Why is this Eight of Swords here? And we have Justice. So you're cutting free. You're breaking free of this. There is some type of situation. For some of you, there is some type of um, situation with the law that makes you feel stuck, but that's just like one of you or two of you. And so I feel like what this is, is you hoarding, uh, hoarding, holding the sword of truth and really going to cut yourself and break yourself free of why you feel stuck in this situation. At the bottom of the deck, five of pentacles. So what I feel like here is that all of this is easier said than done because there is this fear of being alone. You've never been alone, but spirit is telling you with that sun card right behind it that you will be absolutely happy and content even if you move on from this job or move on from this relationship. All right, so let's get a sacred sea oracle to see what guidance we have. What guidance do we have for Taurus? And we have the Rainbow Light Temple, Inner Light Activation. Ooh, beautiful. Let's get, let's go ahead and read what that has to say. That's number eight. Okay. So it says the Rainbow Light Temple is a grid of crystal light, fractals, prisms, chimes, and streams woven light codes encircling your body elevating your spirit and activating your dna imagine a new reality where everything in your life and sight is made up of these thin cosmic light streams which are pure consciousness 
In this reality, your body is made up the, of the same light and you can change it based on your thoughts and level of consciousness about yourself. You are only as dense as you think you are. You are only as stuck as you choose to be. If you're ready to access this rainbow light temple, you will be able to activate a whole new reality for yourself. Choosing this card signifies that your energy frequencies are ready to be transformed, light encoded and repatterned. Your DNA strands are calling for an expansive upgrade. You are now welcome to take a moment to reset them to the frequencies you require for this next experience of your life. And I feel like that's this gateway that's coming through right here. That's what it is. Wow. That's beautiful. I also feel like because they talk about DNA, that there this is um, your ans your passed on loved ones, ancestors that are um, creating this opportunity for you to move in a different direction. All right, let's get some C melodies for advice. What advice do we have for Taurus? And we have prudence. Don't be lured by the siren song. So I feel like this is you being very clear on what aligns with you and what does not and not be distracted to move in the wrong direction. And we have voyage, set sail on a new course. Definitely, this is definitely talking about that. Letting go. And then we have recharge. There's nothing like a walk on the beach to soothe your soul. So get near some water where you can walk along the water or put your feet in. I feel like this is going to be very therapeutical for you. All right. Those are the messages that came through for you. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And remember, the universe has your back and so do I. Take care.